Do, do I start now? <laughs> All right. Good morning. I am Marco Chung, and I'm discussing the extent of which virtual assistants have affected American lives. Um, what are virtual assistants, first off? Uh, virtual assistants are speaker-like devices that listen to a, a voice command given by the user and will respond to the will respond to the answer uh, will respond to the question with an answer, a confirmation of the request, or anything else depending on what was asked and whether or not the virtual assistant could understand or find what you were asking for. Sometimes they'll just like glitch out or they didn't hear you. Examples include like um, Apple, Siri, Amazon's Alexa, and Google Home, which have been implicated a lot. Over the years, there have been a rising number in sales in virtual assistants, and that will result in the increased use and positive effect of virtual assistants. So the first positive effect of virtual assistants is that they make lives more convenient. They, they add convenience, and they do that because they can be able to order your food, or they can order your drink, and they can learn your usual order. And they're also able to set uh, reminders or timers. You can just ask your phone, hey, send me a timer for um, 10, 10 p.m. or something like that. And shown in this picture right here, uh, it shows a person. This is the person's dialogue. And then the, and this is what the speaker says, or the, the virtual assistant. So it says, Alexa, open KFC. And then it says, welcome to the land of finger licking good. And it allows you to order KFC from the virtual assistant. So you don't, you don't have to open your phone. Not to do anything like that, you just talk to the virtual assistant and it'll, it'll order you uh, what you want. And obviously you need to connect your, um, your account to it so you can pay. But it, it adds that level of convenience and um, it shows the interaction and it says, okay, Alexa, please order a big eight for me. And it's a sit tight order placed. So it, it just allows you to do it. And it can, it's not only for KFC, it's for a bunch of different um, different restaurants and apps. Next, uh, virtual assistants make lives easier. Virtual assistants are now in homes and they are um, in vehicles. As shown right here, there's um, an Echo Auto, an Amazon Echo Auto. And then this is a thermostat that is also part of um, Amazon. And it can turn on lights and it can change the temperature as shown here. And it, um, it can also play music. You can just ask it, play your playlist or play a certain song and it'll play it. And right here, this man, he asks the uh, virtual assistant to change the temperature and it changed. And he turned and later in the video, he also asked for the virtual assistant to turn on the lights and play music. And he's doing that from his car. And he says to do that in his, um, home which is very very cool or very um innovative i guess it's a new technology moving on virtual assistants can be used in certain situations they're able to provide a patient with a specific instruction and they can tell you how much dosage of a certain drug to take or how uh how many pills or what whatever you need. And if you don't remember what your doctor said to you, you can just ask the virtual assistant and it will tell you. You can also use it for cooking. Shown in this picture, the Google Home is telling um, whoever is cooking, the chef or you, how to cook a certain dessert. It tells you to layer each jar to six or seven raspberries and of two tablespoons of cheesecake filling and it tells you exactly how to do it and if you don't know you could just tell it to uh repeat itself and it and it won't like come back to you with a stupid quip it will just tell you it it is that simple virtual assistants are also capable of providing you with knowledge this quote here states that virtual assistants are currently used by their owners in US, UK, France, and Germany, with 82% of virtual assistants owners in these countries using virtual assistants to seek out information, such as new weather receipts, appointments, advice, offers, and so on. Right here, this picture shows that Amazon Alexa is also now on channel six. And that allows people to know that if you just ask Amazon for your news, it will tell you the news and it will tell you what's going on in the world. And especially now 
that was a very big time for you to know the news and know what's going on. A lot of things, a lot of things are happening. And it, and it shows how effective virtual assistants are at giving you information. It shows that 82% of virtual assistant owners seek out information through virtual assistants. They can just ask them to, for the news, for the weather. And if you just hold the button on your phone, you can ask um, Siri or whatever virtual assistant is on your phone, what is the weather for tomorrow? Or what is the news as well? You could also ask in a math problem. And as long as it's not too complicated and you don't jumble your words too much, you should be able to get an answer. Lastly, virtual assistants have been, have been, a, oh, have been in potential to be, able to be even more helpful in the future. Virtual assistants have already been applied to the automotive industry with the Amazon Echo Auto shown in the picture before, in the slide before. And they can provide you with directions on where to go and and it can just tell you where the traffic is bad and whatever uh also people have been using phones for directions they have a they have a phone stand they put the phone there and then a virtual assistant will tell you where to go and in this picture the car is driving itself so in the future virtual assistants plus self-driving it can it can just allow the virtual assistant to drive you where you want. You can ask it and it'll just take you there. It's, it's sort of like a bus, but private. They're also growing themselves, virtual assistants, apart from automotive industry, they can, they are also growing. Shown in this graph right here, from the release of the Amazon uh, Alexa to 2017 of November, it shows the growth and the number of skills that um, the Amazon Alexa has accumulated. From each month, it rises even more and even more. And that is because the virtual assistant itself grows. And from now and into the future, it will grow even more. And from 2017 to now, it has grown. So in, in that two-year time period, it went from 48 to around 25,000 skills. And this just shows how much it grows and tasks that and skills that Alexa cannot perform today or other virtual assistants cannot perform today. They will, they could be able to do it tomorrow or a year or however long, but it should be able to grow and it should be able to do it. Thank you. All right. I do have a couple questions for you. Yeah. Uh, first question, is there evidence that you gathered that you didn't use and why didn't you use it? There is evidence I gathered that I didn't use because it just didn't, it didn't fit right. Like in, it's like a puzzle and it just didn't exactly fit right. It might've supported a different claim that present, uh, supported my argument, but it just wasn't a claim that I claimed. Okay. Uh, and, um, <clears throat> If you had more time, what additional research would you have conducted? Um, if I had more time, I would have, um, I would have found more evidence and more um, data because I wanted to, in, I wanted to put another graph in this, in this uh, presentation. And I just wanted to be able to sh strengthen my argument. And also would have, I also wanted to find more evidence and more um, another source or another few sources for my uh, research paper because it heavily relied on uh, one source. So I wanted, I wanted not to rely on one source and I wanted uh, multiple sources for it to have um, sort of a backbone on. Okay. 